Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we worked on getting our Rubite processing up and running and operational, which we were able to do. So we are now sorting Rubite and we are getting um, aluminum ore from that as well as some other things. And we got that all split out, sorted and being stored in warehouses. So that is good. And as you can see, I went ahead and did a little bit of uh, reorganizing of my inventory in between episodes. Um, one other thing that we did do is I basically stopped using um, our mineral sludge for making catalysts. Because there really isn't anything that I can use that catalyst for at the moment. Um because it's used for specific types of ore refining. It's good that we have it, and we will probably use this catalyst that we have built up, um, f you know, in future, uh, what do I want to say? Facilities that we build that is going to utilize the catalyst. So this is a nice deposit of catalyst to have ready and available for use, but, um, we're not really going to be using it just now. So we need to do something else with our mineral sludge because it is backing up here and eventually the slag slurry is going to back up and then all of our stone and slag are going to back up and then it's just going to be a problem. All right. So what we're going to do with the mineral sludge is we're going to start crystallizing it because... I did get some technology that allows us to crystallize mineral sludge into silver and rutile. Rutile is what we use to make titanium. And we are not getting that from any of our ores right now. And in fact, I looked at the other types of ores that we can get. There's, there are two more. There's jivalite and there's steratite that we can also process. But using the current processing methods that we have without going another stage further in the refining process um they don't give us anything new they basically just give more of what we already have so we don't really need them right now so i'm not going to worry about those but i do want titanium so the only method that we're going to have to get that right now is by crystallizing sludge so we are going to need to figure out how much sludge or how much how many crystallizers are we going to need to all right so let's say we do crystallizing the silver and rutile um the type of crystallizers that we actually have can we make these no because we need titanium plate to make those so we can only make tier one crystallizers and we're going to need mineral sludge, which we are using uh, that. And what type of filtration units are we using? Um, these are just Mark 1 filtration units. Okay. So, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six filtration units. So, I want to be able to set up enough... Uh, crystallizers to take the output of six filtration units. All right. And we are going to be... Oh, because that, that's already being handled. So, let's go ahead and say one. Well, I thought I said one... If I say two, three, okay, uh, ten, five, twelve, six, eleven, six. Um, I'm thinking 10 is probably going to be good. We're going to want to make 10 crystallizers. And actually, we can have those crystallizers do all kinds of different things. 
All right, so next tech, we don't need that. We don't need that. We can get the reinforced concrete walls. Um, cliff explosives, armor craft. Invar cobalt steel armor. We don't really need that. Um, you know what? Let's work on the crafting speed upgrades. Let's get that done. All right, so we need 10 of these. One, actually, two, three, or five, 10. All right, and where are we gonna put these? I think we're gonna put them up here because then we can just run a line. So let's get rid of some of these trees. I'm gonna have to find something to do with all this wood. So crystallizers we'll probably want to take, let's see. I want to run their output along here, right? Because then it allows us to come over here and actually we'll probably want, uh, we'll probably want, um, to move this up one additional spot because then that'll allow us to do the sorting properly. All right, you guys can all put yourselves away. There we go. All right, so we'll come out here. Here are our crystallizers. Two, three, four, six, nine, and ten. And for now, we're going to do silver and rutile, which is we're going to have a lot of extra silver, but that's that's fine. Not sure I really need two inserters per, but I guess I probably don't. Let me. I don't think these things crystallize that fast. There we are. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run just straight pipe here. I'm not going to worry about doing the underground pipes. Though I may change my mind if um, if I have to, if I start running into a problem um, running through that area. Okay, so. Perfect. Do I have more of these pipes? No, I don't have any more of those pipes in inventory, so I'm probably going to have to get more. Okay, yep. We are starting to sort. 
I don't think I'm going to worry about utilizing both sides of that belt. I don't think it's really going to matter all that much. Did I accidentally dispose of my lamps? I think I may have. Okay, no problem. Okay, so silver. Which line is silver going on? I think it's this one. Yes. Okay, so we're going to say Alpha Priority right for Silver Ore. There we are. I'm not sure I like those filtered slots. Okay, so here we go. And then we're going to put that silver onto that belt. There it goes. All right, and then the root tile or titanium ore is going to come over here. And we're going to dump it in a warehouse. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of There we go. All right. So now we have titanium. Not a ton, but we have some. And we should, if I go ahead and look over here, start seeing this decrease ever so slowly. Well, it's not going up, so good enough. Is this decreasing? Not really, but it's not going up either. So again, perfectly fine. We seem to be consuming it as fast as we're making it, which is good. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need this nitric acid, right? We need this nitric acid, and to make the nitric acid, we are going to need silver ore and aluminum ore. So, let's see. Where do we have our silver? This is zinc. We're not doing anything with zinc yet. We, need, we are going to be doing something with zinc soon. Because the next thing we really need to do is to start processing all this ore into plates and other things. So where's our silver? Here is our silver. All right, make sure we're using both sides of the belt. Oh, well, that's a bit interesting. Okay, um, we actually need to bring it out there. No problem.
Oh, we are definitely going to need some more belt. That's fine. Go grab some. I'm not, I'm not really going to be setting up the silver plate uh, smelting just yet. Because we don't really... Well, we uh, there are some things we can use it for. But uh, right now is I need just need the ore up here so that we can make things out of it. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some more of you guys. And let's grab a bunch more of you guys. I do need to unlock blue belts and then start making blue belts. I also need power armor so that I can maybe get, like, an exoskeleton so that I can actually start running faster. That would be nice as well. I think that power armor requires stuff I don't have. Like titanium. And aluminum. Alright, so there is the silver ore. And where exactly we're going to send it, I'm not entirely... Well, we're gonna eventually going to have to get it all the way up there. So, let's just go ahead and run the line. This is all going to come up here, and then there'll be a line of processing to smelt that silver into plates. So the next thing we need to do is bring up the aluminum. Though, in this game it is spelled aluminium, as it, which is the more European pronunciation of that metal, but I'll stick with aluminum. All right. Yep, okay, that should work. You guys are short. You guys are short. There's power. Whoa, 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 do not want to do that. Uh, what I probably could do is actually go around that pipe. No need to go through it. That will probably want to go under that pipe. trees out of the way. There we are. And then we will eventually connect in there. Okay. Okay, so first things first is we need All 
All right, what do we need to do first? We don't necessarily need to do this. We are going to need to do this eventually. It's going to be part of this process, right? So we can... Actually, just move this up there. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is we are going to need some carbon dioxide. Do I have a ready source of carbon dioxide available to me at the moment? There is some carbon dioxide. That is coming from this. That is coming from this. It seems to be making enough. It almost certainly won't because we're need we need liquefier mark twos. Um, is there any way to uh, connect into that pipe with another source? Where is that pipe going? That pipe is going here to feed this. To make the carbon. Uh, you're making carbon dioxide up here. That could work, actually. That could work. That could definitely work. So I need two liquefier Mark II's. And here's the carbon dioxide going in to make the carbon. Oh, that guy was using the wrong recipe still. Okay. And you're making the carbon to make coke. Now you're making coke, you're making carbon to make carbon to make electronics, okay. Okay, so I'm going to want to expand this a bit, just a tad. Um... There we are, and then I'm going to add, add those two in, and I'm just going to connect them all to the same system. Now all I have available to me are these uh, plastic pipes, so I'll just connect the plastic pipes to them. Have them grab the carbon, have them grab the carbon. All right, so there should be plenty of capacity there for what we need to do. Speaking of plastic pipe, I'm gonna need a bunch more. So let me go grab it. Let's get a good stock. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come through here. With our carbon dioxide pipe right there. Okay, so now we have a source of carbon dioxide. Um, hmm. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to be using this area over here. I'm hoping we're not, not going to have to landfill. We are probably going to have to get rid of trees. Uh, 
let's go ahead and put put these trees in a box somewhere. I'll have to remember to come back and grab them. Or all that wood in the box somewhere. Remember to come back and grab it to do something with it later. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to remove all these trees. We're going to let the uh, bots get to work doing that. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need blue algae, which then uses sulfuric waste water. Okay, that's going to be a tad more complicated. Sulfuric wastewater is down here. I could try to tap into the sulfuric wastewater line around here and pipe it up. for this specific purpose. Because hmm. then that's going to need 15. Well, let's go ahead and get these uh, guys manufacturing. Okay, we're going to need more of those. We need some more steel. go some more steel and then we get one two three more of those and that'll be our 15 all right so that's what I think we're gonna have to do here is we are gonna have to uh, basically connect in to the sulfuric wastewater and pipe it up to where we're actually gonna do this uh, which is fine shouldn't cause any problems. And all of our sulfuric wastewater pipe network should be connected together. So it should all be connected together. So it should just be a matter of connecting in. Let's see, right about here. And then routing this stuff where it needs to go. Does that get all the way across? Nope. Let's make the the corner there. Actually, that worked out really nice. And then let's make a corner here. It won't get all the way across. Uh, let's move that radar just a tad. And then we'll bring the sulfuric wastewater up through... All right, so there's our sulfuric wastewater input, and here's our carbon dioxide input. So we need to lay out 15, which we're still making them, 
15 of these guys. All right, I have 10, so that's something we can work with now. Um, hmm. I'm also going to realize we're going to have we're going to be having a lot more. Well, not really. The only other one we're really going to have coming up here is titanium. So, well, no, there are going to be some others. Um, so we're going to need to leave some room. All right. Let's see. If I did five, hold on. Let's. Second, I'm trying to figure out how we, we're going to do this. Um, that should work if. One, two, three, four, five, and then three. One, two, three. Okay, so that should work. And we should have enough room to bring several more lines of ore up here as well. And then we're going to do blue algae. Flip them around. I think like that. Ooh, hold on. I made a slight mistake. These are... Need to be there. And that means that these guys can actually move over one as well. So we want them three apart. One, two, three. Okay, now we definitely want to have the same pipe there. And it may actually be beneficial to have these guys like this. So, carbon dioxide pipes. These things are just so large. Alright, carbon dioxide pipes are going north here. And then the actual carbon dioxide itself can connect there. Perfect. Okay. And the sulfuric wastewater pipe
Do I still have... I may need more of that. We'll see. Alright, so Fjork Wastewater comes south. So I could probably ex just extend that to uh, conserve some of these underground pipes. So, oh, just have enough. Okay. And then, boom. There you go. All right, and then we're going to route all of this stuff south. So, we're going to go ahead and say... You guys bring that in that direction. You guys bring that in that direction. And that should... ...be everything. I don't think we're... I'm gonna have to tell them to use both sides of that belt. I don't think I will. Alright, we're going to need power. to an exterior uh, source of power here. Let's see. These are going to have to move in a slight bit. And these guys are going to have to move... Let's see, can I go all the way out there? No, I can't. Let's just move them over anyway. And then we'll just make put one pole in there to connect them all through. And then we'll connect you guys through there. All right, and we have blue algae. Perfect. All right, but we are at the end of this episode. So uh, we will continue working on this process to get the nitric acid made uh, when we come back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.